We're just gonna jump right in today. I'm outside by the laundry area. I'm gonna get some laundry going so that can, you know, be washing in the background while I'm getting the house in order. It is Monday, of course, happy Monday, and we are doing a house reset. I like to do my main cleaning for the week, so the bathrooms, the dusting, the floors. I do a little bit of laundry each day, but if there's any laundry, I definitely like to get some done on this day. I order my groceries. We usually do a grocery haul, you know, just prep for the week, so that's what we're doing. Then I'm gonna go ahead and prep the floor so I can run the RoboVac as well while that's going in the background. Just picking up all the shoes and it looked like Charlie dissected a pet of his, a stuffed animal, I should say. <laughs> so I'm just picking up everything so that that RoboVac or RoboRock can run in the background as well while I am cleaning, making sure there's no cords or anything. And I left the trash on the couch so that my son would pick it up himself and get it. But I did want to move it off the floor. And I'm also going to clean Charlie's area really quick. It was looking a little rough and... I wanted to make sure it was nice and clean before the RoboVac went over in that area and cleaned it as well, just because it was looking a little extra rough. So that is what I'm doing now. I'm just using some alcohol wipes from, I think like the Honest company or something. And now I'm going to fill the compartment up with water, wet the mop pad, throw it on and get it started. So now I have the laundry going, I have the RoboVac going. Now I'm gonna start cleaning. Today I'm starting downstairs again this week. Usually I start upstairs, but I'm just kind of tired of the same routine. So, <laughs> so I'm starting downstairs. Before I get dusting, I am going to clean up just whatever junk is laying around so I can dust everything. I wanna show you really quick this vinegar Don, Don Just Soap concoction. This is my natural weed killer. I noticed our lawn guy was using Roundup to kill the weeds. And I've been telling my husband, I really don't want him to. My dad passed away in 2020 from leukemia lymphoma because he used Roundup. And his brother did as well and also died a few years before that. So as you, I spray this area, I'm just showing you where you see the brown weeds. It really works. I tested it on a small area. Sorry it was a little hazy. It was very, very rainy out that day, so the camera lens, if I go outside, was foggy. But anyways, I did test it out on that small area, and it worked. So our long guy purchased a different backpack separate, and we are going to supply all of the salt, the vinegar, and the Dawn dish soap, and he's going to spray using that natural concoction. And I will keep you guys posted for sure, but I feel a lot better now that that's taken care of. So we're back inside and I am just, I think I'm emptying the dishwasher at this point. I'm just kidding. I'm loading it. <laughs> and I'm going to, so I'm going to get this loaded and then we're going to clean up the sink as well. And you see my best friend, the Robo Rock working in the background. I love that thing. I'm telling you guys, it really is like the best investment ever. Like it is my favorite purchase. It makes my life so much easier, especially because I have all hard flooring in my house except two bedrooms and I have a lab. So his hair is everywhere and I run that thing every single day. Stop till the finish line will go together on this open road. Untether these wild hearts, sleep underneath the stars. We'll go together on this open road. Got some storms coming in for sure. The rainy, stormy weather for the summer has arrived. 
Yesterday we lost power. That's why, if y'all remember, I keep a cabinet full of candles. Not like for smelly good stuff, but for lightning storms and when the hurricanes come. Which we're still away from that, but we definitely get a lot of lightning and lose power. I'm just working on clearing off all of the junk from the island. It was a little tricky with the stools on the island today, but I wanted to keep those there just so the Robo Rock would run under the island this time completely. I have these gift bags. So my son cleaned out my car. He details cars on the side for a little bit of extra cash. And I don't pay my kids for chores around the home, but if they do something like above and beyond, I will. So if he details my car, I will gladly throw him a little cash so he purchased like all of this stuff he needs to detail and he does a really good job actually so anyways he this was just stuff that was in my car like all the stuff I was showing you that I put in my car like the ponchos the stress relief lotion because you know who doesn't need that um, and just all of this stuff was in my car so I am going to just find a home for it all put it where it belongs that the ponchos and everything I ended up putting back in my car because you never know when it's going to rain here in Florida. It could literally be sunny when you leave and the forecast for the day could be sunny and you could get caught in a rainstorm. So, <laughs> and it's that season for sure. So anyways, I was just then putting the gift bags in that gift bag holder I purchased. That was one of the best purchases ever. I just keep it right there in the utility closet in case we need to wrap any gifts. And I'm just showing you an up close of the island and the counter so you can see that it's dirty it's hard to see especially with the counters everything blends in but they were really really gross and a lot of times you can just sort of feel when it's gross but anyways i'm using that cap and queen spa day cleaner it smells amazing i love it So now that we have the kitchen cleaned up, I am going to do a quick dust of everything in here. I had taken everything off the week before and did a dry and a wet dust. So on this day, I was just doing like a super quick dust and I did edit it out. But as I was climbing up the stool, I paused really quick and ordered a duster with a longer, an extendable handle because I'm like, here I am getting this stupid stool out every week. <laughs> it's just, you know, it would just be easier if I had one of those extender dusters so I went ahead and did that if I don't order something that moment or put it in my cart that very moment I will forget about it and then when I go to need it I'll be like oh darn it I meant to do that so kitchen looks great nice and cozy love it and it was also just kind of a nice and cozy day it was rainy out like I showed you and I'll show you some clips later it was pouring out uh, I love the rain I know some people don't really like it but I love it. I love when it rains. I love when it storms. It's just kind of forces you to slow down. It's nice and cozy. There's like this intimate vibe in the air. I love it. So we're going to head outside really quick and switch some of this laundry and then get some more laundry started. And notice I have my neck fan. You know it's hot when I'm busting out the neck fan. <laughs> it helps a lot.
let me know if you guys think I should do a, like a mirror. Like a big mirror. A painting. Or like three small paintings. Or maybe two medium paintings. Let me know in the comments. I'm thinking... I already have some scenery on the shelf in the kitchen. So I'm thinking just a mirror. But then my two teenagers will never leave this spot because they'll be looking at it all the time. I'd wait forever, honey, for one more minute with you. I'd spend all my money to spend more time with you. It may sound a little bit funny, there's no one else like you say that you do. I was on the long road running, found my way to you. From driving rain to sunny. Really coming down now. So now I've dusted downstairs and you just picked up all the rooms a little bit and now I'm going to, and I did the bathroom, now I'm going to mop. I'm using the steam mop. I love this thing. I love to put a few essential oil drops on the pad. It makes it smell so nice. I think I used lemon. My daughter was just in the background spilling all the tea. I love this girl. She's so funny, you guys. So that's who I was talking to, not myself. Sun rises behind her eyes, but she still can't see it. And she beside me, I walk slowly. She feeds my soul all the gold I couldn't eat. This whole time I've been searching for the wrong thing. She's my captain, she's the sea She's the sun on my back, baby, believe me She's my captain, she's the sea She's the sun on my back, baby, believe me She's my captain, she's the sea 
The floors were really, really dirty. This week, I didn't realize it until I looked at the mop pad, but it is what it is. It's been a little rainy. We're, we're doing pretty good about not wearing our shoes inside. I, you know, I've mentioned before, I do have to wear them when I'm cleaning, like a big clean like this, because I have plantar fasciitis. Many teachers get it, it's pretty common. And my podiat podiatrist or something, I don't know. Um, she told me that I cannot walk barefoot like ever. So I don't, unless I'm in the shower or if like I get up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom. But I never walk barefoot. Now inside the house on a day-to-day -day basis, I usually wear my house slippers that you guys see me in a lot, but they're really good shoes. They have a very, very nice arch and a lot of support. So my feet never really bother me. Uh, but on days like this, like when I'm cleaning the whole house and mopping, I'm not playing around. I put these shoes on. I'll usually clean them, just take a wipe and do the bottom of them beforehand. Um, just so, you know, they're clean. But anyways, everybody's been pretty good about not wearing shoes. Um, sometimes I have to say something, but it's not a huge deal. I realized most of the time we really don't wear shoes in the house. So it hasn't been like a huge, huge adjustment. Um, I just have to make sure I wear my slippers most days. My daughter wears slippers in the house anyways when she is home. Tyler's barefoot most of the time inside. Anything, I gotta tell that kid to put shoes on when he goes outside. Um, and then my husband always takes his work boots off before he comes in. So most of the time, you know, we're pretty good about it. Well, it hasn't been as big of an adjustment as I thought it would be. So, and I do think it's helped a lot, by the way. Um, now we're upstairs. And I'm just gonna straighten things up and then we are going to do some dusting and then we are going to clean the floors and that is gonna be quite the adventure my eyes my eyes I'm staring at the ceiling for a while for a while my heart's got this feeling My eyes, my eyes, my eyes It must be more for seeing And I know and I know That everybody's dreaming They grow, they grow Like titans or it seems And I know, I know I must be planted for a reason And if you could be my open skies And I could be a wildflower about to change and if you could be my open skies and I could be a wildflower Skies and I could be your wildflower. You could be my open skies. You could be my open skies. You could be my open skies. All right, so I have the bedroom cleaned up and dusted. I wanted to do the bathroom after because I was gonna be emptying the dirty water can in the toilet and cleaning the pieces in the sink. So I was gonna just do the bathroom after. Here's my floor. It was a hot mess. I got this Tinico 
probably two months ago, the first time I used it in a small area in my dining room, it was like almost putting out too much water. It didn't seem like it was sucking up the dog hair very well, so I didn't like it. And I complained about it on here. And I thought, I'm just gonna get rid of it. And I ended up giving it a shot one more time, probably a week or two ago, upstairs. Let me just try it. And just kind of on a whim, I brought it up here and it did a good job cleaning. So it, it didn't seem to be putting out too much water. I want to be careful up here because these floors aren't sealed and these are real wood floors. Uh, but you can kind of see when I do it, it almost leaves like these lines. I don't know if you can see right now where the light is. Um, I do think the steam mop works better. Like I'm telling you guys, I know I talk about the steam mop all the time, but I love that thing. It's just clean so well. There's no chemicals and it's so, the, the care of it is so easy. I just take the mop pad and throw it in the wash. It's so easy. So I was like, okay, I'll just use this upstairs since I use the Robovac or Roborock, sorry, downstairs. And then I use a steam mop after. So I'll use this so I can vacuum my mop in one shot upstairs. And so I do on this day and it was fine. Every, everything was fine. However, keep in mind, you guys have seen, I've been cleaning all day. My feet are just killing me. I'm sore. I'm tired. I'm hot. I'm ready to be done. It's so humid. I'm just over it. Right? Well, after you use this thing, you have to take it apart and you have to clean everything. If you've ever used a carpet shampooer, you know how you have to take like the tanks out, you have to clean it, you have to take the cover off the top, like where it actually vacuums, you have to take that off, you have to, it does have a self cleaning tool where it will clean the roller brush, but I like to take that out anyways and clean it. And like the compartment the roller brush sits in, you have to clean that. Um, I have no other choice but to clean it because it, you'll see it did get up a lot and it's so gross. So. If you use this thing every single time you have to take it apart and clean it and I'm sitting there and I'm just so over cleaning anyways it's kind of a pain because you have to do all that and then I'm emptying it in the you know not empty I emptied it in the toilet and then I'm cleaning it in the sink and there's just so much hair I'm trying to like catch it all and throw it in the trash so it doesn't clog up my sink then it was just so dirty it cleaned it the self-cleaning tool and I had to set a second time I had to empty the water tank then I had to clean all the pieces and I'm like excuse my French but I'm like screw this like I'm not doing this every single time I use this thing like this is almost an inconvenience like it's supposed to help me but it's actually giving me more work than I need like what I mean is it's supposed to make things easier and I hear so many good things about it I will say it did clean good but you'll see I'm doing a self clean option and it's so far I'm like, okay, everything's fine. Um, then it's like empty it. And so we're going to go empty it. And I was like, wow, it, it really worked good. But look at all that hair. And then I had to do the self clean option again because it didn't finish. And then I was trying to put it back together and like the cans don't fit correctly. And the dirty water can, <laughs> Cause I, I run the self clean option again. So the dirty water can is full again and it wasn't in completely and it falls and all that dirty water and slop fills on my bamboo floors that are not sealed. So I'm, I'm like bent over trying to stick these things in there and make them fit. And I'm getting really mad. I was going to put this in the outtakes. I put a brief glimpse of it in the outtakes. So this is now it's doing the second cleaning. And then it's like, oh, well, you got to fill the water thing. You're out of water. So I go in there and fill the water thing. I come back in. I put it in. I couldn't get it in, I don't think. And then <laughs> I was going to put, the, then this is when it spills. I literally was about to chuck this thing out the window, you guys. I couldn't get it in. I was like, <laughs> I can laugh about it now, but you guys have no idea. I mean, I'm sure you do if like you've been in my position. Imagine you're sore girl. You've been working. You're hot. You're sweaty. This thing's starting to really tick me off. I was so mad. I can't even put this part in the outtakes because I have to bleep every other word out. Let's just say that. Like I lost it. I was like, <laughs> I was so mad. I was like, I'm not. I do put a little bit in the outtakes, but it's like after I've let the sailor out in me 
<laughs> like after after all the naughty words come out um so if you want to see that it's at the end but um I, I decided I'm done with this thing. I, <laughs> I told my husband, this should just be making my life easier and it's not. And like, I shouldn't have to go through all this. So now we're not even done. Like <laughs> now I'm going to go put it back on and I'm going to have to take it apart and I have to clean all the pieces. And there's just so much dog hair, which is great. It's cleaning good, but I'm like trying to catch it so it doesn't go down the drain and clog my drain. And there's just so much sand. And it's like, I don't, if I'm deep cleaning my carpet, I can totally get having to then clean my shampoo so it doesn't smell after and take good care of it. I get it because I'm not doing it that often. But if I'm going to be doing this thing every other day, do y'all really think we want to like take it apart and detail this thing every time? And I'm not going to leave it in there like that. Like, all these girls who are raving about it, like, are they not cleaning it after? I don't understand. Like, do you just leave that in there? Like, maybe, maybe, maybe it's not a good idea to use it when you've been cleaning all day and you're already over everything. Maybe if it's just like a quick clean in your house and that's all you have to do, um, maybe it wouldn't be so bad. Like if all I had, cause now I got to go here, I got to clean all this you know what I mean? Like you really have to clean so many parts of it. So if you like your row, your vacuum mop, that's awesome. But it is not for me. It is. I just want something quick and easy. And my steam mop, it, it's just easier for me to do that. So it's going to be a big no for me on this. I have officially decided. kissed just for something different a drink regular chips they had in stock this week spring water some mini cokes some of these potato skins my daughter likes the thin and crispy red baron my son likes some cold garlic bread this is really good hawaiian bread just because just to have it some toothpaste my husband needed some deodorant, 
fudge stripe cookies, goldfish, Cheez Its, little bites. These cookies my husband likes, I got them. I haven't gotten them in a while, he'll be happy about that. And then these chewy granola bars. And really I have all the other dinner stuff I need. I didn't need any paper towels or any cleaning products or anything. So super small, quick grocery haul.